so in continuation to the uh, series where we are placing some problem solving on uh, upcoming iit advanced 2022 so here i am placing one more question based on the topic of uh, goc where we happen to come across a topic of quasi aromaticity or quasi aromatic compound let's let's directly go into the question and then see into the discussion part so this is again a more than one choice question which is a, a very often asked a type of question in iit advance uh, you are supposed to tell the order of dipole moment order of stability energy of barrier rotation across two rings and lastly they are asking us azolene is a quasi aromatic compound so in the way they are asking some 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 aspect of goc as well as they are checking our information in regard to the uh, topic of azolene that we are aware of what exactly do we mean by azolene and is it a quasi aromatic compound so let me this is uh, a question which is being asked very often by many of the students that they are not clear with the topic of quasi aromatic compounds now in my language what i would sense out uh, that what exactly do it mean uh, basically qu quasi aromatic compound in a way is a aromatic compound only but in the ionic form what let me repeat what i just have spoken in my language what i would say it like this that quasi aromatic compounds are aromatic but they tend to show aromaticity when they are in the ionic form and when they are in the ionic form definitely there is engagement of charge involvement so in my language what i would say that aromatic compound where the charge involvement allows a structure to justify aromaticity that can be said as aromatic or in other words which is again a very interesting type of a language that in other words that quasi aromatic compounds are the one where one of the pi bond of the structure when undergone polarization results in a aromatic character so these are the two ways by which you can uh, identify whether it is arom uh, quasi aromatic or not or in other words which i just have spoken that quasi aromatic compounds are exemplified in a polar form when a aromatic compound aromaticity is explained in the polar form then uh, we say at that has to be quasi aromatic and as a virtue of that as a virtue of all of this discussion you should also mark it a very important statement that quasi aromatic compounds are generally crystalline or i would say ionic and since they are ionic they are quite stable so the stability is quite high and they tend to because of the polarity uh, generation they tend to acquire a high dipole moment and lastly they when they are in the fused ring as is, is being asked in the question they have generally low barrier rotation so now let me come on to the question and would explain that how this particular question knowingly unknowingly engages in many aspect quasi aromaticity so when you talk of the first compound now if i would see into this particular compound and if i just would do the polarization of one of the pi bond if i would do the polarization of pi bond this happens to become this thing and this would get a negative charge this would get a positive charge and there is a pi bond here now as a matter of fact when i did this polarization so as i said in the very definition that on polarization of any pi bond if the system allows some species to attain aromatic character then it can be said as quasi aromatic so this particular species i shall be saying is it has to be quasi quasi aromatic compound because the cation which we have generated cyclopropenyl cation this is aromatic this species is aromatic why is it aromatic because it is as you know in many of other videos i already have explained and if you are preparing for iit advanced by this time you are very aware of the fact that for a compound to show aromatic character there are four points which has to be justified one it is it must be cyclic there must be delocalization of the charge onto the entire molecule so this point generally people don't recall so delocalization of pi bonds on or charge on entire molecule on entire molecule this is to be remembered and uh, uh, there uh, the the molecule must be planar or or flat or nearly flat or planar nearly would also work and lastly it must have to obey the huckel rule which generally people 
only see the last point but other three points are also rather these two points are very important and or rather i would say second point is the most important so uh, the huckel rule is 4n plus 2 pi electrons must be there into this and where n can be 0 1 2 3 so many of you people are aware of these all four points i just in two minutes i have explained it so you happen to see here you have two pi bonds and these two pi bonds and there is a perfect delocalization in the sense that if i would just move this this side so the next structure which i would get here is this would re remain as such and the positive charge goes here isn't it and if i would move it once again here to uh, this side uh, earlier i just have to taken to this side now if i would move it this side you would get a positive charge on this part so onto the entire species there is a polarization so the another question is what had been the question that you are being given this compound which always would exist in this form instead of here you would i would write a positive charge and there is a clear clear polarity generated here so dipole moment of this species must be much greater as compared to the this pi bond so definitely this would be having more polarity because there is actual charge uh, delocalized properly to justify the aromaticity when the species would acquire a aromatic character and uh, this would be having a clear cut positive negative charge separation happening so when i have this compound with me i shall be saying this is mainly existing in this form okay so this is one point and here also there is must there must be some polarity here but that polarity is not because of total delocalizing i cannot say that on to this part there is a clear cut positive charge there is polarity definitely but the dipole moment of first entity this would be greater than the second one one is this question second is and if i would go to the uh, problem what exactly is there in this problem the problem was saying first is order of dipole so this seems to be a correct statement very right this is correct statement now let me go into the next aspect of the energy barrier on to this part what exactly is being said about it that you are being given these two structures now here also if i would do the polarization of the pi bond which pi bond the pi bond which is being asked in terms of rotation this pi bond can rotate or not if it uh, if it can rotate with ease we will say the energy of uh, orientation uh, energy of uh, rotation barrier would be less and if it would require more amount of energy now it is quite easy to explain here also i will say this particular species can be said as quasi aromatic first one i am saying first first molecule shown here is a quasi aromatic in the sense that if i just would do the polarization this way so what this would result into and the other question which you always would ask why not sir other way around that also i would do just wait a minute so if i do it this way this is positive this is negative in the process in the process in in doing so what i have generated this part has become aromatic because now you have six pi electrons with you and it is perfectly delocalized it can go here so there is a perfect delocalization happening and that delocalization can go from this side also and it will keep on going it like this and this particular entity we just have done that this also was aromatic cyclopropenyl cation and this is having two pi electrons so both of these become aromatic so since uh, on the polarization of one of the pi bond two entities become aromatic we will be saying it is as to be quasi aromatic now other question is why would not it be other way around that if i do the polarization in the opposite direction opposite direction uh, if i do it this way if i do this way what i shall get here i would get negative here positive here in the process both of these entity this part and this part both would become anti aromatic anti aromatic so since it is becoming anti aromatic which is not stable so it would not go that way so we shall be saying if in case not if in case it definitely would be available actually in nature in this form in the polarized form because both the entities bec would become aromatic and similarly if i would do this in in this case because both the cyclic five member ring is identical on both sides so whichever way you would go 
uh, you definitely would get one species generated as a cation, another as anion. And out of which, if I would do this anion, this is cation. And now you are able to see that this particular species, this one has become anti-aromatic and this has become aromatic. This has become aromatic. Is it okay? So anti-aromatic you must be knowing by this time that it must have 4 pi electrons, 4 n, 4 n pi electrons and where n starts from 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. So here you have 4 pi electrons, here you have 6 pi electrons, so it is aromatic, this is anti-aromatic. So since it is anti-aromatic, so anti-aromaticity would not allow this to go from this direction to this direction. So in that sense, we will be saying that the energy required for, uh, you know, uh, I shall be saying it like this, that this particular species would always love to remain in this form. And if it remains in this form, here you would have then single bond. And if it is single bond, it can rotate. And if it can rotate easily, because since it is a single bond, so the energy required for this orientation or for this rotation would be lesser in this case, unlike in this case. Here, uh, there would not be existing existence of this particular compound in this form. In the ionic form, it would not would love to go that way. So it would remain in this form. So if it is remaining in this form, so the pi bond always would be there in the two fused ring. So it would not uh, be having low energy. So what option they have given? Energy of orientation across two fused ring they said for this one, it so it seems it is correct. So for this, it is less and for here, this is less and this is more. So this also is correct in this case. Now going on to the B option, where he is talking about the stability order. Now in regard to the stability order, we have to again check it out. This is the species. Now here, if I do the polarization of this bond, Again, you happen to get a tropolium cation type of a species, isn't it? Here, this becomes negative, this becomes positive. Again, I would say we are able to uh, say or we are able to say it like this. This is again a quasi aromatic compound. Why is it quasi aromatic? Because the species which we have generated actually has become, uh, you know, uh, uh, aromatic on polarization. Now the point here is when you have to uh, uh, do it uh, with compare it with this particular species now here what is the problem here the negative charge happens to get retained onto the oxygen negative charge happens to get retained onto the oxygen here the negative charge would not go on to the carbon or if i do the polarization the negative charge definitely would go on to the carbon but the point here is and in the process, this is carbonyl, this is positive, and this species again would become aromatic. This also would become aromatic. And the point here is, would it be stable or not compared to the first one? So first one is merely stable because of the fact that the negative charge, negative charge happens to be on a more electronegative element that is oxygen, which is going to make it more, make it more stable. And second viewpoint can be if you just have compared these two, we will be saying on comparing these two, we will find this to be more ionic, more polar uh, because of the fact that the oxygen is having more negative uh, electronegative and it tend to retain the negative charge more effectively as compared to the carbon in the form of carbonyl. Although the tropolium cation is being formed in both the structures because it is again, this is 6 pi, this also is 6 pi. But the other way around is. I can argue it with uh, like this also that why not I do it reverse way it would it be possible here it never would be possible because the oxygen would get a positive charge which is not uh, very stable but here you can but it would not go because then the uh, the species which we just would create would be would get 8 pi electrons which would make this um, cyclic thing anti aromatic so the best view to answer it we just have compared these two only on the basis of oxygen being more electronegative so it tend to acquire a negative charge so it would be more stable second is other way around you can also uh, uh, speak it like this if you just would theoretically compare this uh, these two 
we may also say because everything is same carbon oxygen that if i just would take co bond versus c double bond c so the bond energy of this is greater so that again would justify the fact that the first one is more stable as compared to the second one but this is a a little tough call uh, but we may endorse uh, this as to be now what uh, they have said so i would rate this as to be wrong one uh, this this particular species the order of stability this would be more stable and coming on to the last part azulin so azulin is a very interesting example first you should know what exactly do we mean by azulin this particular compound which i have drawn here is called as azulin which is having a uh, 10 pi electrons it is having a 10 pi electrons and all of these are delocalized in the sense uh, like this but to explain its aromaticity what you actually have to do is uh, you have to polarize one of the uh, one of the bond here if i just would do the polarization of one bond like this just see it with me one side the ring is five membered another side is seven membered so what i shall be doing here is that if i just would uh, you know do the polarization like this so this would get a negative charge and this would get a positive charge and now if i just would do the resonance in the sense that if i would bring this bond here what next structure do i get here is if i would move it like this or rather i just move it like this or no rather i shall be using this one only so if i would do it like this i think we should have wrote the bonds like this this way here i would get a positive charge here would get a positive charge and this is negative now the interesting part here you would find is this particular species this particular species is aromatic it is it is justifying six pi electrons cyclopentadienyl anion which is perfectly delocalized it can undergo delocalized like this onto the and now talking about this carbon carbon double bond this would be taken as to be on both sides it would uh, be exemplifying the uh, uh, aromatic character or delocalization on both fused rings so it can move on to this side also just see here if i would bring it here this goes here this goes here so this is a seven membered and it is again is having six pi electron just like tropolium cation so this is also aromatic this is also aromatic so the fact of the matter is that if i just would mark it uh, you can draw its resonating structures and would see into it and if i would make its hybrid structure the hybrid structure can be shown it like this on this side you have a positive charge on this side you have a negative charge so clear cut it is a aromatic compound of the this is a aromatic compound and uh, we may say it as to be quasi aromatic because i just have done one bond polarization so aromatic compound which is polar or ionic in nature you can say it like this because of the fact that there is a generation of positive and negative charge so azulin can be said as aromatic uh, aromatic as well as quasi aromatic quasi aromatic why we are saying it is a quasi aromatic because on bond polarization you exactly would see the development of uh, positive charge onto the seven member ring and negative charge onto the uh, five member ring so i hope uh, this statement is also correct with so the what shall be the answer to this particular question so a is correct uh, stability order had been wrong and c is correct low bond energy energy of barrier rotation is lesser for the first one and the last one d is also Correct. So these are the four, uh, three options which are perfectly correct. So this is very interesting that IITJ people ask the question in such a way that they check many things in a sim single question. So hope to see you in some other uh, video where we will be taking up some more questions for the IIT advance. Thanks a lot. Have a nice day. If in case you like the video, do share and subscribe. Thanks very much.